This is just a little update for an, for my new subscribers. Shaved pussy looks like wet chicken. Just in case you're a new sub, I thought I'd update you on that. This video is about uh, what the fuck's it about? Oh, narrowing down uh, a malfunction with your pistol. And uh, since uh, so far the only pistol in my cabinet that's malfunction is this Glock 23, so we're going to use that as an example. Not saying Glocks are unreliable, but in my situation and all the guns that I have, the only one that fucked up so far is this Glock 23. <clears throat> And, uh, so we're just going to use it as a model, and there's something else I wanted to cover, <coughs> um, with a, uh, chamber indicator. Hold on. <coughs> Come on. Sorry, it's a dusty basement, man. Um, yeah, this fucking... There's constant dust in here. I don't know what I'm going to do about it. Every time I do a video, I'm like gagging. Gagging. So, we're going to do, we're going to try, this is what I do. Like I told you guys, I'm not an expert. By no means, I'm just going to show you what I do. You guys might have a better system, okay? But this is my system. <clears throat> Alright, first of all, I want to make something clear because a lot of guys, you know, Really, there's there's people that don't know what they're talking about. There's people that kind of like 80% what they're talking about. I I put that in my cat. I put that's the category I put myself in. Damn, I can't talk today. I'm not an expert, but I uh, <clears throat> a little knowledgeable. And uh, you're gonna sit there and tell me. Let's check the guns first. Make sure they're safe because we don't want no one to have a heart attack. Okay, the guns are safe. These guns are empty. Alright, and uh, they're clear. Alright, now, Glock 23. A lot of Glock guys <clears throat> um, want to say that the extractor is a chamber indicator. Well, not to me. Alright, there it is without a round in there. Okay, I'm going to put a round in there. Now there's a round in there. You see a fucking difference at all? If you put your finger there, it, it protrudes out just a little tiny bit. That does not qualify qualify for a chamber indicator. No way. It's not being it's not being loud and clear and telling you that there's a round in the chamber. If you're you telling me if you're under stress and you're panicking and you're shitting your pants and you go like this, you're going to be sure if there's one in the chamber or not. That does not qualify as a chamber indicator. No fucking way. So to the new gun owners that have open minds still, do not reference this to a chamber indicator, because it is not. Okay? Let me show you what a chamber indicator is. Okay, now I'll take it out. Okay, the round came out. Now look at it. Can you still tell? No, it looks just fucking same to me unless you're sitting there rubbing it with your fucking thumb. That's not a chamber indicator. Come on. This is a chamber indicator. This is a Springfield XD, which is an excellent, excellent Glock alternative. You ain't kidding. <clears throat> if you don't want a Glock and you want, you, want, you want one of these polymer guns, you want to go with the XD for sure. Now here's a chamber indicator on the top. See it? There's a little lever there. Now when I put a round in the chamber, okay, now if you look at it, see it's popped up now? Look at it from the side. It's clearly popped up. It's telling you there's a round in the chamber. That is a chamber indicator. Okay? And back here it tells you too, there's a pin that sticks out. That's a cocking indicator. So, don't sit there and tell me, if you're a Glock lover, 
that that is a ch that that extractor is a chamber indicator. Because no way does that qualify. No fucking way. But look at it this way. If you brought this gun to a chamber indicator inspectant inspection agency, do you think this would pass? If they said, "All right, there's a new law. Guns have to have chamber indicators." So Glock and Springfield and HK and all the guns have to come through here and we're going to check for chamber indicators. And when a Springfield comes through with its chamber indicator, yes, passed. And another gun comes through with its chamber indicator, yes, passed. And then this comes through and, and it, it, they're saying that this is their chamber indicator, this they're going to say fails. Just look at it that way. Try to, try to imagine it that way. You think that would pass? No way. They're just trying to pass it off as a chamber indicator. Now, if you look in a Glock manual, does that actually say chamber indicator? Uh, I don't know. If it does, I think Glock has a lot of balls. If it, I don't, it, I don't think it does. I never really read through the Glock manual to see that. But I'm, I'm not even curious because if it does say yes, it doesn't prove I'm wrong. You understand? It's just not good enough. It's not good enough to be a chamber indicator. If they're going to make that a chamber indicator, they need to add a little bit more steel on there and then paint red on top of it. Then when it comes out, you'll see the, the red flag. That's a chamber indicator, okay? So, I'm not putting Glock down. You guys know it's one of my favorite handguns. There's my cup, okay? I'm sitting here in my snowflake pajamas because sometimes I feel gay. And today I'm feeling really gay. So I'm going to sit here in my snowflake pajamas. Because the snow has fucked the whole work week up. Because South Philadelphia is a city. And the cities are screwed. Everybody's plowed in. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I was going to go into a... Uh, or how, how to narrow something down. How, how to narrow a, a jam down. But I don't want this video to get too long. I already spent one. I don't know how many minutes. Let me spin the screen around so I can see what the hell I'm doing. How many minutes is going by so far? Seven. Wow. That's a lot. Sorry, dudes. I tend to babble. Um, if I have a jam with a gun... Okay, let's use the Glock because that's the one that jammed on me. If I had a jam with a gun, I'm going to say, is it the gun? Is it the magazine? Is it the ammunition? I don't know. I don't know. But this is how I narrow it down. Like I said, I'm not an expert. This is how I do it. Now, usually when I shoot a Glock, I'll have about three magazines loaded already. So say uh, this is the second. Say the gun's been shooting fine. Boom, boom, boom. It's been shooting fine. Flawless. Now I put the second magazine in. Okay. Now I put the second magazine in. Second magazine. All right. Boom. Oh, shit. I got a jam, right? Okay, so what I'll do is immediately take the magazine out mark this magazine with chalk or a piece of tape or something and put it aside okay I'll put it aside get my other magazines say this is a new magazine this is one of the three all right and then uh, slap my slap my new mag slap my new magazine in there and start firing and it's 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 starting to uh, be reliable again it's not misfiring right Take that magazine out. Now I said I usually have three magazines, the two to three. Put my other magazine in. Start firing. No more jams. So the magazine that I marked with a piece of tape might be something wrong with the magazine. Now, if nothing goes wrong, uh, if it if it if nothing goes wrong, like if it's stovepipes, which is when it does this. I ain't too coordinated today. If I get a stove pipe like that, usually, really, that's not a magazine problem. That could be a bunch of things. Okay? That could be uh, too strong of a recoil spring, which I think was the case with the Gen 4. Or it could be an undercharged round. Undercharged means not enough gunpowder in the brass. Okay, uh, I section off a round with, I use my own technique, I call it the PPB. P 
PPB, which means primer, powder, bullet. Primer, powder, bullet. This is for beginners, okay? Uh, that's the three sections of a, of a, a round of ammunition. Now, if it's undercharged, that means there's not enough powder in the casing to give enough gas, gas pressure to blow this slide all the way back to the rear. So that means what happened was there wasn't enough gunpowder, it, it blew the slide maybe this far back. And then before the brass could get out of the way, the slide came back and caught it and caused a stovepipe and made it stick like that. That could cause a stovepipe, but there's something else that could cause a, a stovepipe. The other thing that could cause a stovepipe is uh, a, a very strong recoil spring. Now, if the gun's brand new, the recoil spring is at its full strength. So that could mean breaking in. If you get a, if you get a stovepipe when, you're going, when your gun is brand new, uh, let's eliminate let, let's eliminate the ammunition problem first. Get another box of ammo. If it does it again, and then does it again, it is not the ammunition. There is no way there's that many bad rounds. Uh, I've I've never experienced a bad an undercharged round yet. Okay, but if it stove pipes twice within a hundred rounds, okay, probably not the ammunition. Probably not. Uh, probably it's your recoil spring, which means, just like I said in the beginning, your recoil spring is at its full strength. So give it about 300 rounds to work itself out. Let the recoil spring contract, okay? Break that recoil spring in. The more it does this, the weaker the spring gets. The weaker the spring gets, the further back this is going to come every time you shoot it. So that's considered break-in. Okay? The feed ramps considered break-in, but we're not talking about break-in. I'm just talking about stove piping. So it could be that. Or if it happened once out of like a couple hundred rounds, you probably had an undercharged round of ammunition and your gun is probably fine. Now if you have a used gun that's well broken and it's stove piping, well, that's probably bad ammunition. If you're using reloads, it's probably your reload. So use factory, good factory ammunition. Okay. This is what I use. Okay. <clears throat> I will show you guys this shit. All right. He's Remington UMC. Okay, which is not not a real hot, uh, it's not a real hot load of ammo, but it works great. And then I'm going to start using this, the Winchester uh, 40 Smith and Wesson, because I heard through the grapevine and from gunsmiths, these are a little hotter charged than the Remingtons, just a little bit. So I'm going to see how these do, and I'll let you know. But a hotter charge is always better because the hotter charge gives the gas pressure enough to make the gun function properly. Damn, I can't talk today, man. Okay? Uh, there's probably a lot of other things I've missed. You know what I mean? Man, what the hell do I do with stuff? I hear this. There's probably other things that i missed. But I'm just giving you a quick rundown how to narrow down mount functioning of your pistols. Okay? Uh, I love this Glock 23. I'm going to say one mount function out of 50. I don't see a problem. I don't see a problem. I never seen a, I I never seen a Glock fuck up before, so it was kind of a shock to me. So I'm not going to say that uh, my Glock is fucked up. It's just going through a normal thing. Uh, could have been a bad round of ammunition. We'll see. If it never happens again, it probably was a bad round of ammunition. If it happens again, within the next 50 rounds, it's a little break in springtime. Okay, then another 50 rounds, another 50 rounds, if it doesn't do it anymore, it shouldn't do it anymore. If it does, there's, there's, still, there's still something wrong with the, then there's something wrong with the pistol. That, that's beyond my knowledge, okay, but I don't think that's going to happen.
Okay, so one jam out of 50 is pretty good. Uh, this has never jammed. Okay, and I got you know I guess over 150 rounds to this, and it hasn't jammed one time. Doesn't mean this gun's better. Like I said, might have been a bad round of ammunition. Okay, so. I haven't been on YouTube in a while because uh, you know, my dad's in a hospital, nothing serious, just had a kidney stone, but I've been up there with him and shit, and uh, I haven't had time to be on the computer, that's why, you know, don't get all ass hurt if I don't answer your questions, I got so many, so many people PMing me all the time, believe me, I, I go through them all, but I don't answer them all, because I just don't have the time, but I'm with you guys, man, believe me, I'm with you guys, don't, don't get a... Uh, your feelings hurt or don't think I don't care because I do. I try to answer as much as I can. And I know when I answer, I give you a real short answer because I'm trying to get through them because I, I don't got enough time to sit there and write a paragraph out. You know what I mean? So, that's all. I've been away from the computer because I've been at the hospital. Went to a fucking diner last night. Got a burger. And, uh, you know, what the hell's wrong with these diners, man? Don't they, have them, don't they know how to make a good hamburger? These fuck, this fucking hamburger was so, it was worse than a hockey puck. I mean, I was ready to ask the lady, I was like, yeah, why don't you give me 12 more and I'll take them to the range and you can use them as skeet. Yeah, that's how bad it was. So, just thought I'd let you in on that. And can someone tell me, for the love of God, every time when your dog sits on your lap, he puts his hind leg foot right on your balls? And then when someone knocks at the door, he springs off your balls, and you're sitting there with fucked up balls. Is that up? Am I the only one that happens to? Anyway. Check out Gun Slot. Not Gun Slot. It's Guns Lot. I, I call it Gun Slot. It's not Gun Slot. Someone point that out to me. It's Guns Lot. Okay? Like the gun, like a parking lot. Guns Lot. Uh, not Gun Slot. I'm a gun slut, but it ain't gun slot, it's guns lot, okay? So let me know what you think of this video, let me know if it helps you out, okay? And a lot of guys are asking about shirts again, and I'm going to let you know, when we hit 15,000 subscribers, we will do the shirts again, okay? You guys want them, I can use the business, so beautiful thing. Alright, see you guys soon.